Hello, Alex Hui here. As an acupuncturist, one of the most common questions that I get is, does acupuncture work? Therefore, today I would like to share with you an introduction to acupuncture. So what is acupuncture? Acupuncture is an insertion of needles into the body for healing effects. And it has been developed in ancient China over 2,500 years ago. And although it is pretty ancient, it is still very effective and applicable in today's world. Acupuncture could be used to treat a broad range of issues, ranging from pain such as muscle joint pain, headaches, all the way to internal organ issues such as cardiovascular or digestive diseases. And it could also be used to reduce stress and anxiety. Now you might be thinking, this is unbelievable. How can a single needle be used to treat all these different types of diseases? Well, now let me explain it to you. There are two ways to explain why acupuncture works, the classical way and the modern science way. First of all, let me explain using the classical way. In traditional Chinese medicine theory, there is a substance in our body that is vital for survival, and that is called the qi. Some people call it energy or life force. So in our bodies, if the qi is flowing smoothly and we have sufficient qi, then our bodies will be healthy, physically and mentally. However, if the qi is insufficient, or if the qi is being blocked in certain parts of our body, then that could cause disease and sickness. So if you would like to learn more about what qi is and all the details, I'm going to put a link in the description below. The aim of acupuncture is to balance the qi flow in our bodies. So for example, if some spots, particular spots, the qi is being stuck, that could cause pain. So when we do acupuncture, it can unblock the energy, therefore it can relieve the pain. Let me explain a little bit more of how this works. Just like blood flows in blood vessels, qi flows in channels that we call meridians. And as you see in the model right here, all these lines are different meridians. Along each meridian, there are certain points that we called acupoints or pressure points. And these are the points that we stick the needle in. And acupoints are where the outside of the body and the inside of the body communicates. So that is the reason why we put on these points. So you might be asking if, for example, if one has a lower back pain and we put a needle on the lower back, definitely it can help with the flow. But what if it's internal organs? How does that help? Definitely we're not sticking needles in, for example, the lungs or the kidneys because that would cause internal bleeding, pneumothorax, and that could cause a lot of trouble. So what you see right here is the meridians on the outer surface of the body. However, the meridians actually go inside your body as well. So therefore, it can actually connect to the internal organs. Take lung meridian for example. Here, this line right here, meridian is called the lung meridian, and it connects all the way inside to the lungs. Therefore, when we put needles along the uh, pressure points along the lung meridian, although it is in the arm, but it could also use to treat lung or respiratory diseases. So that was the classical way of explaining why acupuncture works. What about modern science? Well, let me tell you a couple major theories. Number one, releasing endorphin. By doing acupuncture, it actually stimulates the nerves and it sends a signal all the way to the brain and leading the brain to release hormones that is called endorphin. And endorphin is our body's natural painkiller. And it does not only help us to relieve pain, it can also help us to reduce stress. So that's why this is also called a happy hormone. Number two, improving circulation. By doing acupuncture, it can help to promote circulation to the local area. Therefore, because the blood circulation is improved, it can help to enhance the healing of wounds and injuries. Number three, decrease inflammation. Some studies have shown that once doing acupuncture, it can decrease the pro-inflammatory markers, which means it could significantly decrease inflammation in our bodies, thus reducing the pain. Number four, regenerate nerves. There are also studies that show that acupuncture can stimulate the brain to secrete nerve growth factors, which means it can help to regenerate nerves. And this is important in terms of dealing with nerve damages. So these are the explanations of why acupuncture works using the classical way and the modern science theories. The risks and side effects of acupuncture are none to minimal if done by a certified and well-trained acupuncturist. 
The most common side effect is the points where the acupuncture needles were put in are sore for a day or two, but it does not have any long-term effects. And also, there are some pressure points that can cause miscarriage. So people who are pregnant need to be, be careful of those points. But of course, certified acupuncturists will definitely know which points not to put. This is a question that I get a lot from people who have never done acupuncture. Does it hurt? Well, let me tell you this. Acupuncture needles are actually 10 times thinner than injection needles or needles that we use for blood donation. So therefore, it is really, really thin. How about let me do a little demonstration. So I have some acupuncture needles right here. These are sterile and it is one time use only. So the process is, of course, as a practitioner, we have to wash our hands first, and then we're gonna use alcohol to disinfect and making sure that there's no infection. We're gonna be wiping it in the pressure point of the patient. Of course, now I'm just doing it on myself and we're gonna take out one needle. So this is how a needle looks like. So there's a little pin on top right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking it out like this. So we're gonna put it on top of the pressure point that we have just disinfected and then we're gonna tap it. And now the needle is in. So, and then the next step is to slide gently the needle right in like that. And that is how the needle is. And to, to be honest, I didn't really feel anything at all. So like I said, needles are really thin. So after it's done, usually it's gonna be staying here for about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the patient. And then we're just gonna pull it out and then we dispose it in a valid needle disposal box. And this is how acupuncture works. Now you might be thinking, acupuncture seems to be doing a lot of different stuff with minimal and no side effects. So does that mean that other forms of medicine are not useful and useless? Well, actually, no. Acupuncture, just like any other modalities of medicine or therapies, it has its own strengths. It also has its own limitations. So therefore, I think that especially in today's world right now, it is really important for us to have an open mind, accept other forms of medicine, and even better yet, use an integrated approach so that we can all work together to better help and serve the patients. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Stay healthy and I will see you next week.